Hi everyone, it's Edna here. Today I'd like to talk about Schubert and more specifically on how to phrase in a Schubert piece. So I'll play for you the Moment Musical number one, which I actually just recorded on my recording uh, Schubert on tape. And I'll play it in two different ways. So I'll play, I think the first, just the first phrase at the beginning. In one way, I played everything just uh, quite beautifully singing, but without too much paying attention to all the uh, articulation and the notation. The second time, I really paid attention. So I'm asking myself, since the first version I, that I played everything legato was basically quite satisfactory. I mean, I. I I liked it also, it was, I mean, how can you not like a Schubert piece, you know? Basically, any way you play it, it, it will sound beautiful. So still, so why play it in, in a way and not in another way? And, okay, so you can say, yeah, it's better to play in a way that's written in the score. Or you can go on the other side, you can say, well, I prefer it that way, so I will just play, play that way in the way it sounds all legato. And now I'll just give one argument uh, in favor of looking at the score and respecting the score. As you all know, Schubert wrote a lot of leader, many, many leader. He was principally known as a leader composer. So the songs are part of his, I would say, his base. And whenever he writes for keyboard, he also writes a song. And Songs have words, something that piano doesn't have. We only have sounds, we, we don't have words. And the question is how the articulation is a way of putting words on the score. So for example, the first phrase, if I would play the first way, which is all legato. That's not the way it is written. It means that basically it's all voyeurs it's all ta ya 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 basically it's all voyeurs it's all legato but if you decide to do the slur that's dividing the first from the second measure there are two e's one inside the slur of the first measure and the one which is the first note of the new slur and so it implies that the second e is different and maybe if you would put words on that e you would use a consonant and not a voyeur and that makes a big difference in the meaning uh, between a phrase that is making legato and a phrase that is uh, using the articulation that's written so that's something that uh, i had the teacher who always said well, actually also Leon Fleischer, but also a, a teacher who was uh, my improvisation teacher also liked to say, always imagine that you are saying words on the notes. And he was doing a lot of Bach. And of course, it, for Bach, it makes a big difference if you imagine that this is part of a cantata. That gives you an idea of how to phrase a certain theme. But it's true of every composer, it's very true of Schubert, it's especially true of Schubert, since uh, songs and words were so important for him. So anyway, that was my thoughts about phrasing in Schubert. I'll see you next time. I don't know on what I will talk, but we'll be probably on interpretation again. See you then. Bye.